Welcome to Long Box Diving, where we pull comics out of the long box. Um, this is the first video in a different series I'm going to be doing. Um, and it's it's more of here. These are comics I've been meaning to read for a while. They're not in my arc. They're not the latest things, but they're stuff I've been meaning to go and get and read. Um, but I've been busy. But now I have an excuse, okay? And this is the one I picked today. This is just one out of the catalog I have. There's no particular order to these. Um, and I, I got one. I Right off the bat, this is a comic that, after I've read it, really sparked my interest to go pick up the rest of this run specifically. Um, because it's very Merlin-esque uh, wizard, where or D and D wizard where you see a lot of magic going on. Um, I mean, if you tell, Doctor Strange in this this photo looks um, a whole lot more Merlin esque than he does currently. Although this this comic book cover completely misleading. Um, this has nothing to do with the comic at all, in any way, shape, or fashion or form. This is not a character in this comic. He doesn't wear these clothes. His hair is not styled like that. This isn't a monster. Um, I like it still. But yeah, this is a style of comic that I really enjoy. Because it's very... It borders on fantasy as opposed to just superhero, right? And Doctor Strange is magic, right? So this feels very much like a fantasy sci-fi comic. Because there's still monsters in the world. Um, I enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. So right off the bat, because I've never read the rest of the run before, I'm introduced to a world that I'm not familiar with. This is apparently the Dark Dimension? Um, I did not know it looked like this at some point. <laughs> I always picture the Dark Dimension as Dumbabu reigns supreme, ba -ba Um, and no. Interesting enough, Dormammu's been disposed. Deposed? Deposed. Um, and his sister... Uma has taken the throne. Um, I want to say I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I want to say Umar. Um, and like the first thing we see immediately is a bunch of normal med med medieval peasant-esque people because it's a different dimension, it's a different world. Um, and their life force is being sucked out. You actually watch this one guy. We, we see him refusing to give up his life force. And then they force it out of him. And becomes a shriveled old man. Don't look like this, no, ba. Um, and that's interesting. Like, I already know... The people who are doing that, they are clearly not bad guys. I don't know where they're at at this point. I don't know who they are. I don't know real. I know who they serve or Umar, but I have no clue who Umar is. I haven't read any other comic in this run yet. Um, but I already know these guys are the bad guys. Because they're harming innocent people. Um, and we have a conversation where it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's how you earthlings say tax or something like that. Um, and then we see Doctor Strange, right? And Doctor Strange is dressed in, in like sand brown robes kind of thing. And he has a long flowing hair and a big beard and it's that white and black man the salt pepper um and he's like alright let's get ready and he, he literally melds the walls of wherever they're at and they all come running out and beating up the guards and, and they take the all of the um extract, extracted at essence they steal a bunch of tithe essentially um except the tithe is literal people's lives and they just run away with it um, and the crowd is not actually happy about that. And it makes sense. One, okay, one, this is their lives stored in cubes, circles, little bitty circles, okay? Um, they would like those back. Secondly, secondly, there's a good, good amount of people who still like Umar. She's just taking control. Life is better than with Dormammu. Um, and they're like, yo, why are you messing with the Lord? She's the Lord. You can't be messing with her. Um, and that's, that's interesting. Um, I don't think it's, 
I think historically that is precedented. Like that you would see that where the like again, the people serve the Lord. The Lord had the army, and the army protected him from, from whatever monsters are out in the in the wilderness, right? Or whatever other foreign nation. And so the people gladly paid tithe their taxes to make sure they were safe. Until it got to a point where it's like, well, hey, all of the taxes we're paying are just for parties because the government's not fighting other people and protecting us. And then it's like, well, why are we paying taxes to people who are just having parties? Let's have a revolution. These people are having a revolution. There's no guillotines here, but they are having a revolution. So they take the tax, they run away, and again, more magic, man. I'm like, granted. I enjoy Doctor Strange Last Days of Magic kind of thing, right? Because it's challenging the character of Doctor Strange and saying, let's put a man whose whole thing is magic and let's throw him into something that has no magic. And it's challenging his character, right? I love that, I love that, I love that. I also love, there's a ton of magic. This is his thing. Let him do his thing. I do not like the, the parts in between where it's like, yeah, there's a little bit of magic. He does some magic sometimes. Um, yeah, of course he has magic. He just hardly ever uses it. I hate that. Stop that. Let's go to this. Or Last Days of Magic. But mo mostly this, where he does a ton of magic. And he's again another one where he's like, Oh, all the mindless ones are in the waste? Well, let's, let me just spawn a bunch of illusion uh, Doctor Strangers and have them fight the mindless ones. Great idea. It got, gets all the mindless ones away. You know, D and D class Ill illusion wizard, pretty cool because you can trick your opponents like this. Exactly, exactly. Um, and so all the mindless ones chase off after the illusion Doctor Stranges, and their their rebel team gets back to the base um, where they meet somebody apparently Doctor Strange is known. Um, and seeing the first couple panels between them two, I'm like, ooh, they had a relationship at some time. This is later confirmed than the the rest of the comic. But again, I've not read the previous issues. I'm like, ooh, they had a relationship at Doctor Strange is a little confused here. Um, we found out why he's a little confused. Um, that one, he hasn't seen her in forever. But two, she was his apprentice. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, now they have a council meeting. Uh, about what to do next, right? The rebels succeeded. Now it's time for the next strike against the the evil empire. Um, yeah, what is their goal to shoot down the Death Star? Like this is their council room, and Doctor Strange takes the time to report back to Wong and say, "Hey, look, hey man, here's here's where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. Um, just an update. I know I know you know where I'm at. Um, um." But here's just an update of, of the scenario of what's going on, uh, just to keep you in informed, and you can keep the new apprentice or whoever she is um, informed, right? They bring up, hey, look, we have a prisoner. Again, I didn't know they have a prisoner, but they do. Um, and it, it's it's shown that um, what's her name? Jiminy Cricket. I can't remember her name. Clea? I want to say it's Clea. Un momento, por favor. Clea, correct. Okay. Uh, and it's revealed Clea's had magical powers. Any apprentice of Doctor Strange should have magical powers, right? Um, and so she has, and it turns out she's been trying to mentally interrogate a prisoner and the, um, that they have. They managed to have one prisoner. Just one. But it's an important one. It's Clea's father, who happens to be a high-level guard in, in the whole uh, empire. Who served under the Marmu in the good old days. Um, and they're like, well, we haven't been able to get any information out of him. And Dr. Shin's like, hey, look. I'm, I'm the supreme sorcerer. Yo. Let me get some information out of him. Okay. Why are you trying to do it? You're the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, and a couple of people on the, on the council are like, Yo, no. We barely know you. You're an outsider from Earth. Um, 
Like, we like you and all, but we're not going to let some stranger just walk down to our prisoner and interrogate him and then come back up with what he says. That's a death trap. What if he was a spy for Erm Umar? I mean, it, it's a valid point. So Dr. Strange is like, okay, well, what if I go down with you and you can be the one that I focus my powers through and we can interrogate him together? They, they agree. They accept that. Um, no one thinks there's any suspicion of treason going on with that. And they move forward, right? And Doctor Strange goes down there. And again, there's more magic! And it's like, yes! He has the Eye of Agamotto. And it, it opens up and it sees everything. Well, that includes the thoughts of a certain prisoner dad. Um, and it goes through all of his memories. Every single supply route. Um... The guard postings, etc., etc. Anything this man knows, Doctor Strange is peeling out of him. And there's one locked door. There's one door that's shut. But it's the Eye of Agamotto, man. And he bursts right through it, and he sees a secret. This man, I forget his name. I'm not going to look it up because I don't think he's that important. Um, fell in love with Umar way back when she was exiled because of Dormammu, right? Well, Umar's like, oh, well, I don't like you anymore. And she ran off, only to return once to drop off a baby. Okay. This baby is Clea. Okay. The, the dad raised her. It's obviously Clea. Um, here's my suspicion. I've not read the entire arc. I don't know. I don't know if the father here actually sired Clea. Um, because it's, it's really strange for a lady just to show up, to fall in love, assuming they had relations, and then just run off only to return when she had a baby, right? Um, to me it sounds like a very good way if you have a loyal guardsman to drop off an unwanted, um, child who's in a potential heir to the throne um, and just get rid of it so that way nobody knows you ever had it and you never have to deal with that unwanted um, heir to the throne, right? Or complication or etc. That seems like a good plan, especially if it was with a man um, and you had a kid somehow that you did not like or there was potentially a disastrous relation, like maybe she had relations with a man from Earth and it's like, well, you can't have that, can you? Then again, she was exiled. But I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not certain that the guy is her father. Um, but that's beside the point, right? So they said, let's launch an attack on the caravan he, that he thought of. This caravan has secret power crystals. Whatever power crystal is. But it's important, right? They all think it's important. So it must be important. Let's go out and, and, and attack the caravan. And it's funny because Doctor Strange is like... Um, Actually, I have another tangent here. But Doctor Strange, again, when they're preparing for the ambush, he's like, man, this looks like a Western. Aside from all the aliens and all the jargon, this could be a, a Western. Um, and their secret password to get into the base is a quote from Rocky, which is really funny. <laughs> They'll just walk up to the bubble show and start quoting Rocky. Thanks, Clea. Brilliant idea. Um, that, that's a good idea, though. Um, but yeah. They, they get sent off to track down this caravan, okay? Well, Clea, finding out she's she's the daughter of the current uh, ruler of, of the nation, is having conflicting thoughts because she's like, no, I agreed to lead the rebellion. I did not agree to rule the nation. That's not my duty. I don't have any interest in that. Um, and she declines to make a stand as the daughter of the current ruler. Um, which is potential, like that, that they, they make mention of that, right? And again, this is, again, a very medieval-esque issue, right? You have the child of the ruler who was unrented and tossed away, right? Um, making a stand as a potential claimant to the throne in rebellion. Um, and this is going to give her a whole lot more legitimacy on, among the common people. A person who's a child of the current ruler. Uh, but she declines it. She says, "No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a ruler. I'm just a, a leader." Um, but what she does do afterwards, after sending the rest of her party off to the caravan, she goes downstairs, frees her father, 
and then gets into an argument with him. This bugged me, right? Um, because the dad's like, I'm going to knock you out and do what I do because I'm an evil person. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but why did she free him? Like, he even asked, why did you free me? Um, and I don't know. I, I want to find out, right? And that's I love that. Is it just because she, she, made, she, she made a bad decision? Or is there a secret plan here where can she get close to her mother and kill her? Like, I don't know. Um, I'm running long. I meant for this to be a short video. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they go down to ambush the, the caravan. Clea gets knocked out, right? Um, they go down to ambush the caravan. And, well, surprise, they, they hit the caravan. And, surprise, double surprise, the caravan flips in and out, and there's a bunch of guards inside of it. <laughs> it's like, they were ambushing the ambushers. It's a trap! Um, and, and, and again, more magic. I love this. The, the, the... In, the Empress's, uh, Umar's, um, Umar's, yeah, Umar's, uh, guards roll out these, um, carpets, right? And out of the car, the carpets are teleportations. Or they're like storage. I don't know, but out comes popping up these massive sci fi worms, and they're like, blah, 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 blah. um, and they start attacking the, the, the ambushes who are part of Clea's group. And that includes all of Doctor Strange's party, right? And well, they're surprised they're about to fight back and then Doctor Strange gets teleported out of there. Um, and they may mention this a couple times. They're like, oh, you look like an outsider. I did not know what this means. I just thought they meant an outsider, somebody who's not from the place. Um, but no, it turns out it's an actual people group. There's a group of people who are outsiders. A couple things interesting about them. One, they all wear similar style of clothing. Two, none of them can speak, but they're all telepathic. And they can work magic. Not a lot, but they can work magic. Um, and so they bring Doctor Strange back because they thought he was a brother. He dresses in the same clothes. He uses magic. Um, they thought, hey, look, he might be, he might potentially be one of ours. And other people are like, no, that he's not our one of ours. See, look at him. Um, and as they pull him through, they're like, see, I told you that he was not one of ours. We wasted our time. Um... But Doctor Strange's like, well, you, why did you do that to me? I was trying to save my people. And they're like, well, we th if, if Umar, had, Umar had managed to get one of the outsiders, right? And she, if she captured one, she would hunt down the rest of us and blame us for you. We could not let you get into their hands just in case you were one of us. But now we know you are not one of us. We do not care. Good luck. Um, I like that characterization. I really like that dynamic. Um, again, I don't know a lot about them, but they're like, look, we had to make sure you weren't one of ours. Because otherwise, she, the, the Mad Queen would have hunted us all down. Um, and that's it. And they're like, hey, don't worry about trying to get to your friends. They're all dead. Again, we don't know if that's true, but that's what they said. They're all dead. And then, um, Dad of Clea, that's his official name, brings her to Umar and says, Don't worry about the rebellion. It's been crushed. Here's their leader. The end. Um, there's a lot that went down this comic. I really enjoyed reading it. Again, I like the fantasy. And it's a science fiction fantasy. It literally is. But I like the fantasy elements of this. Um... And it made it an interesting comic where you had a lot going on. There's a lot of drama here. One, the rebellion as a whole. Two, Clea is a royal descendant um, and the drama surrounding that. Three, Doctor Strange is posing as an outsider and the drama around that. And that's a lot of plot threads that are causing different issues. And I really enjoyed reading it. Um, I'm glad I picked this up out of a long box, right? This was this was a good read. Strange cover, good read. See you next time.